Hey, what's up guys? So here's how to connect the X4RSB receiver to the NAS32 flight controller. First, let's look at the NAS32. If you see this row of pins here, this is your input pins. When you look on the back side, you'll see the very first pin is labeled G and D for ground. Then we have uh, five volts, which will be our power to the receiver. And then you have channels one to eight. Uh, normally, channels one to eight is for PWM receivers, but this is not a PWM receiver, uh, but thankfully we can change these channels to do other things. Uh, this is a SBUS receiver, and SBUS requires a UART port, and we actually have UART number two on pins three and four. On pin three, you will see U2TX, which is, uh, it means UART number two and transmit. Then on uh, channel four can also be UART to RX or receive. Uh, for this reason, we want to run the signal wire to channel number four. Uh, and like I said, run your uh, ground and power wire on the first two pins. You can solder a three wire servo cable like this directly to the board, or you can use the pin headers. It's completely up to you. It's, it's not gonna make a difference. Now, uh, this green wire I have here, uh, this is going to be for our telemetry. The receiver also uses uh, a different type of telemetry, which they call smart port telemetry. And smart port telemetry also needs a UART, but we are actually out of UARTs. Technically, we still have UART number one over here, but because it's tied in with the USB, uh, I don't like using it uh, for anything other than on-screen displays. But instead, what we can do is activate these soft serial ports, which uh, soft serial number one is on channels five and six. Soft serial two is on channels seven and eight. Now, the way I have this wire soldered on right now is actually incorrect and did that on purpose just to show you, um, or just to let you know that this is not going to work. Smart port telemetry is actually, uh, it can send and receive. So we need this wire one wire connected to both of these at the same time. Okay, so what I've done now is actually the correct way of doing it. I just uh, soldered the wire to both channels seven and eight, uh, and now it's going to work. Now let's look at the receiver. Mine looks different from yours because I've modified it a little bit. So without the case on it, I know this is a D4R2, but the pin layout is going to be the same. Uh, just pretending this is an X4R SB, uh, these channels are actually backwards, but we need the uh, SBUS pins, and these SBUS pins are going to be on the back side. So if we were to plug in this three-wire servo cable, uh, it would actually be plugged in just like this on the back pins, not the front ones, and also make sure your signal wire is on the outside going to uh, the SBUS signal pin. Uh, with power in the middle and ground towards the like, center of the receiver. Now for the telemetry wire, uh, you should have a connector on the side of your uh, X4RSB, just like I have on this D4R2. The only wire we need is the wire on this outside. Uh, these three other wires you can completely remove. I just use a razor blade to lift up the tabs and uh, pull the wires out individually. But because I don't have that connector on the side of mine, I'm just going to be soldering uh, the wire to that same pin on the very end. Okay, now with everything connected, it should look something like this. Now we just need to plug in a USB cable. The problem with this flight controller, most flight controllers, when you plug in a USB cable, it powers the flight controller and receiver both. Uh, but this one does not do that, so you will have to have uh, you, you'll have to go ahead and plug in a LiPo battery to power the receiver. Uh, just remember that this flight controller requires five volts uh, to power everything. You can use either uh, linear ESCs that have the built-in five volt back uh, in the ESC, and that will actually power this. I don't use linear ESCs; I use opto. ESCs, so what I do instead is use a PDB that has a 5 volt uh, voltage regulator built in and I'm just uh, placing that on uh, channel number 6, uh, the, the output pin channel 6. The reason for this is because once you put your ESCs on, they will take up channels 1 to 4, 
leaving five and six remaining. Uh, so six is a great one to use to power it. So I'm plugging in my LiPo, getting power to my receiver. Now, uh, if you have not yet bound your receiver, you need to go ahead and do that. Uh, just check in the description below. I will be leaving links to my uh, X4R SB playlist, as well as the Naze32 playlist and the Tyrannus playlist. In the Tyrannus playlist, you'll see a video where I show you how to bind it and also change firmware should you need to. Hey JC, welcome back. Cheat mode active. So now uh, with my transmitter turned on and I have already bound this, uh, I'm now getting the solid green light, which means I am good to go. Now going into beta flight, we will just connect. Uh, first thing, let's let's go to ports. And because we have our SBUS wire on UART number two, uh, for UART two, come over here to RX and turn on serial RX, then save and reboot. Go to configuration, scroll down. Uh, once again, because we are using a uh, SBUS receiver, we want to choose RX serial and select which type of serial receiver, which is SBUS. Come down some more and we want to turn on soft serial and telemetry. Then save and reboot. Now go back to ports. Because we have our smart port wire on soft serial number two, come over here and for telemetry, you want to choose smart port. Uh, I know it's a free sky receiver, but this is a different type of telemetry. This actually uses smart port telemetry. Now save and reboot. Now once again, go back to configuration and make sure that this is still set to RX serial and SBUS because sometimes it does like to uh, not save. Next, let's test to make sure we are getting a signal. So I'll just move my joysticks around. We see roll pitch, yaw, and throttle all moving on the screen. If you have created any switches, you can go ahead and test those out now. Things are about to get real. Hybrid mode. Stunt mode active. Cheat mode active. Okay, we're good there. Now let's talk about telemetry. So you just want to uh, hit the menu button to go to your models. Hold the page button down to go backwards a page to 12 of 12 telemetry. Then scroll down and discover new sensors. And there is all of our telemetry sensors. So at this point, you are now done with this video, but for those of you that are not getting all of your telemetry sensors, some of you may only be getting four sensors. If you only have four sensors, then this means that you are not getting telemetry. Those four sensors are actually coming from the receiver itself. If the receiver is receiving power, uh, no matter what, you will always get those four sensors. You could have your telemetry wire not even connected to anything at all, and you'll still get those four sensors. Uh, so this means that it's not working. Uh, the first thing you want to check is go to CLI and type in set space telemetry, enter, and you want to see if telemetry inversion is on or off. If it's on, you can leave it on, but if it is off, then that's your problem right there. So uh, we will do set space telemetry underscore inversion space equals space on, then enter. If you typed it in exactly right, then you'll get this message. If you misspelled only one character or left any spaces out, uh, then you'll get unknown command. So after you get this message, uh, you're good to go. So now just type in save and press enter. And that's it. Now I'll go back and try to rediscover new sensors and see if you are now getting the rest of your telemetry. Uh, if you're still not getting the rest of your telemetry, then that means uh, you need to go back and check your settings in ports, uh, make sure it looks just like this, and go back to configuration. Uh, make sure that it's still set to RX serial, SBUS, and uh, telemetry is turned on down here. And that's usually going to solve your problems. So that does it for this video, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Check out this playlist for other helpful videos, and I will see you again soon.